G'day guys, my name's Adam Kogan and I'm really, really excited to be doing a review of a car, a new Tesla. I've had the car for more than a month now and I am not actually a car geek. Uh, I don't care about getting the, the most performance out of every corner. I'm a technology geek. I work for a software company in Sydney called SSW. So I want to take you through the good and the bad of the Tesla. Before we take off, um, the coolest thing is these profiles. It stores your profiles of how you like your seats and mirrors, etc. Um, clearly, they sh should support more than 10 people because I've, more than 10 people have driven it in the first month. Um, but there's a few things that I would put down to the wife acceptance factor when I first brought it home, the things that she thought were ordinary. Um, she wants a place to put things and the whole center is bare. There's not a place to put anything and she'd consider a normal cheap car has places to put things. So I had to buy this guy, this center console for 600 bucks. Um, and then there was nowhere to store, sorry, to hang your shirts. Um, now they probably want to keep it clean, but they could have put a little t Tesla icon or something to hang shirts in the, the back seat. The car comes with lots of cool options and I took a few of them like um, raising of your car, um, the suspension. Uh, it has silly things like heated seats, but what I'd really love is some useful things. Now, I would have liked a dash cam installed, so I've had to manually install my dash cam. And of course, every person needs to store their mobile phone somewhere um, that's visible. So, you know, if they just, like, obviously you can get a third party accessory, but just solve it for me, please. So we're ready to take off now. And if you think about a normal car, there's like a four step process. You unlock the car, you put the key in, you take off the handbrake and then you put it into drive. In the Tesla you just sit in and you put it into drive and you're off. This review will be quite different than a normal review I guess. I want to talk about uh, not only the good things but also the shortcomings that Tesla could improve and in fact they don't even need a new car to improve most of them because they can just update the software. When you get in the car, generally it's either me or my wife. Why don't you weigh the driver and auto select the profile? That'd be pretty nice. The next thing I'd love would be to have statistics um, kept on me. And that would be uh, to enter an email address when you create a profile. And uh, if you de desire, send me an email with a report of my driving because you collect a lot of stats. You know how many times I exceed the speed limit. You know how many times I um, move out of my lane because you vibrate my wheel every time I do it. You know when I go to change lanes and there's someone in my blind spot and I didn't, didn't notice it. So every one of those warnings could be put onto my log. But the main way that you can um, easily damage the car is front going in front parking uh, it's the only place you can't really see. It's very hard to have an accident when you're doing a reverse park. Um, it's the easiest car I've ever come across to reverse park, but front parking is not as easy. The Tesla is keyless. All you gotta do is keep this little guy in your pocket. It's got a fob. It's shaped like a Tesla and it has some functionality in there. So you can uh, double click to open the boot or double click to open the front trunk. Um, in my opinion, Tesla should make a real effort so this never needs to come out of your pocket. And uh, the main reason it comes out of your pocket, in my experience, is because uh, the majority of times my kids uh, like to keep their bags in the front of the car. So there is no physical device to open the front trunk. There should be a button that you push on the front, physical button to open it, just like there is on the boot. Um, or at least give me a physical button in the car so I don't have to actually get in the car to use the control panel to open the front trunk. So going on from my uh, little annoyance of the difficulty in getting the front trunk open, the other one is when I leave the car, it auto locks, but I need proof. I want a little beep. I want a beep in the car or I want a beep on the little um, key or I want to beep 
um, on my mobile app, some proof that it just actually locked. And in addition, if I was to leave the car with the windows down and I lock it, I would like a notification on my phone or something like that. The other thing that I would love is if I never have to get my phone out of my pocket. And the reason that I get my phone out of my pocket and put it here is because uh, generally I get a lot of Skype calls. And if you could have an app here that was Skype, that would be one big reason that I wouldn't have to take my phone out of my pocket. Another app that I would love would be a weather app. I'd like to see the temperature here, click that, and a weather app would be great. And of course, the only other ones I can think of is an internet app, which they have in Norway, so it must be an Aussie issue, and um, a mail app, so I don't have to pull out my iPad. Now, I need a Windows Phone app. They have an iOS app for Apple users, they have an Android app for Google users. I want one for Windows Phone users. And now with Windows Phone 10, and you can recompile an Android app, there's no good reason why we can't have that. There's a little request I'd have for the Bluetooth. When you come in here and look at the Bluetooth, uh, this, I've already got so many Bluetooth connections from so many people's devices that have used my car. I want to know when was the last time that Bluetooth was used, which driver profile was used, how many times it's been used so I can clean some of the old ones up. Probably part of my OCD nature. My final request would be to improve the updating experience. Uh, it takes about an hour to update and obviously you could just set and forget, but I was watching what it was doing. Um, and the message that appeared would be during the update was contact Tesla assistance. Now it would be much, much better if they just had a progress bar and they were informing you as you were going with lots of details of where it was up to. A word of warning, people report to me that they can hear every noise that happens when they're outside the car. If I'm uh, getting close to the back and the warning goes off or if I put the indicator on, they can hear that. But more concerning is they can hear every word of my phone conversations. Um, the Bluetooth setup for the phone is awesome, the speaker is awesome, but outside the car, when there's no growl of the engine, it enables them to hear everything I'm saying. I can summarise the driving experience of the car as fantastic. It's uh, very smooth and very silent. And the quality of my calls, and I'm always on the phone, uh, is fantastic. Well, since making this video, I received a message from Elon Musk, and actually all Tesla owners receive messages from him now and then, and uh, it's via the Tesla app. And in it, he said, look, you know, the way we sell our cars is via word of mouth. Now, I've already, you know, recommended it to half a dozen of my friends, and I don't get a kickback. But what he's doing now is he's explaining uh, a couple of the things that they don't do and what they will do. And he said that uh, they will never pay for product placements or celebrity endorsements. So if you see someone famous driving a Tesla, it's because they love it. If you see it in a movie, it's because you know, a director or someone loved the car. They're not getting paid for it. So besides word of mouth, the other way uh, that you can buy a car is via a store. And when you go into the store, actually, you can't even buy it in the store. You actually have to just check out online like normal. But if you use a coupon code, which all Tesla owners can give you, and I will give you one too if you want to use mine, it's $1,500 off. But more importantly for me, I will get a chance to go to the Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada. And that's the largest factory in the world, and that would be the coolest thing ever. Thanks guys for watching my video. If you've got any other suggestions that I've missed that would make a Tesla even better, please let me know. Um, down there is the part two. So click that link and I go for a ride with Troy Hunt. He's a security expert, but he is also a bit of a rev head. And he's got a Nissan GTR and it is loud, noisy and obnoxious. A bit like Troy, check it out. After you figure out the fact that uh, you, you can't hear it, but it is, it is running, <laughs> you know, and you can actually move off. Uh, it's just, it's just super, super easy. Shit. Holy shit. You right? <laughs> it's different. It's very different. Well, at least I got a lot of warning with all the noise. <laughs>